Hey, welcome back to Mr. G's classroom. Mi casa es su casa. Guess we're all ha getting used to this online learning thing, so. And based upon the little Zoom optional meeting we had yesterday, or the day before, whatever, I don't remember. The, um. You guys need to ask me more questions. All right, maybe I'll do like a once a week or once every other week academic period type thing. Um, but uh, yeah, without further ado, let's pray. Go Buckeyes. In the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit, Amen. Uh, Heavenly Father, as always, uh, enter into our hearts uh, right now uh, and every single, every single day and every single moment of our lives. Help us lean on you in everything that we think, say, and do so that we can become the best version of ourselves and realize how much you made us for human relationship um, and not so much, uh, you know, all the social media apps and everything else. You know, that's not doing it for us. Uh, so help us all finally realize and accept that we, we yearn for human relationships, um, social settings. We, we, we want that. So um, help us continue to, to to pray this out um, and work through the this social distancing thing um, and just help us learn to grow closer to you during this time. Uh, continue to lift up all the prayer intentions uh, that everybody watching this video is sending me uh, through Google Forms and the attendance. Uh, and help us uh, lift them all up in prayer to you so that you can answer them according to your will and not ours. Uh, so help us do that and intercede through your mother Mary through all things um, now and always by praying, remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgin, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of thy word incarnate, despise not our petition, and in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit, Amen. All right, y'all. Go Buckeyes, by the way. But, um, First things first, um, if you have questions, guys, uh, you got to let me know. Uh, and whenever it comes to homework assignments, you are responsible for checking those answers. Okay, just like in class where I do completion checks, um, I'm not going to go through every single individual homework assignment that you send me for all of you. I, I don't do that in class. I'm not doing it now. Um, that, would be take, that would just take an insurmountable amount of time to do that. Okay, so... Um, but what I have noticed that we need to fix is knowing when, when we do and when we do not need to multiply by that fancy version of one. Okay, so this is way back in the beginning of the chapter. Okay, so if I give you a problem like this, and again, guys, if you want to ask me, have your parents ask me, whatever, we can set up a one-on-one -on -one Zoom and I can do a tutoring session with you in the evenings too. All right, whatever. Let's say I give you this problem, okay, 5 squared to 5 over 5. Now, I'm having, based upon the now I, some of the people that emailed me back their answers, um, some of us are doing way too much on this problem, okay? JJ, I think you were one, okay? So, um, and maybe Andrew, okay? There's a, there was a, a couple, okay? But, um, and we went through this with, uh, with everybody that was on the Zoom meeting uh, a couple days ago. So, Either way, if you have 4 squared of 5 over 5, you know, the rule is whenever you're dividing radicals, you cannot have the radical on bottom, and that rule is always going to be there, okay? But the answer is already on the board for you, okay? If you guys know how to do this, what's the answer to that? Just 4, right? Because the x's cancel, cancel, cancel. So this just equals 4. You can do the exact same thing with radicals, all right? So if you see 4 square root of 5 over square root of 5, just cancel them out. Boom, boom, 4 is my answer, okay? I have way too many people doing this stuff, which you can, all right? But it's just taking too much time. Now, normally, you have square root of 5 over square root of 5, all right? And you got to multiply by that. Fancy version of 1, right? This is 1, square root of 5 over square root of 5. But that's only if uh, 
if these two numbers are different, right? If these are the same, just cancel them out. You get four as your answer. All right, but I have so many, I, I had too many people that were doing this, multiplying square root across, square root of five times square root of five is square root of 25. All right, and what's the square root of 25? Five. So you'd have five on bottom. Then you would do the same thing here. Square root of five times square root of five is square root of 25 again. All right, so you would end up having four times five because that's what square root of 25 is, five. And then you'll have four times five, which is 20. And then 20 divided by five, you get right back to four. Okay, so you get the right answer, but you know, you're, you're running a, a marathon whenever it should just be a sprint. You know what I mean? So just, if you have the same radicals, that's that, just cross them off. Okay, so I want to make sure we cover that. Because that could save you some time and trouble um, as we're doing these special rights. Okay, so that is uh, just something that I noticed from previous lessons. All right, but then now on the agenda, since we got that nipped in the butt, we're going to go through the answers to 45, 45, 90s. All right, we're going to do notes on 30, 60, 90s. Same idea. Maybe one step more complicated. Then we're going to practice five problems as a class. And then you have homework. Um, seven plus six, so that is 13 problems for homework. Then notice the bottom. 20-point quiz, next class. Ha uh ha. -huh. And reminder, email me or Zoom me. Or Google Hangouts. Whatever works. Okay, well that's the agenda for today. Alright, so without further ado, let's recap. What did we do last class? 45, 45, 90s. Right? So the, that was the rule. Here's the setup. There's your triangle. Whoop, here's your triangle over here. Notice so you got 45, 45, 90. They call them that because those are 45 degrees, across, across, 90, across. So that's the ratio of x, x, x square root of 2. Okay, so 45, 45, 90 shouldn't be that bad. Okay, if it was, after I go over the homework here right now, pause the video, and rather than continuing, email me. Okay, anyway, so the rules here... You, for just as a recap, all you do is you either multiply by square root of 2 or you divide by square root of 2. That's all you do for all of them. And then it's just a matter of making sure you remember how to multiply and divide radicals. That's kind of why we spent time doing that on the first few lessons of this chapter. Here's your homework answers. Now you had to do the evens of just 1 through 20. Evens. Right? I think some of us did too much, but that's okay. Now just as a recap, as I said... I highlighted all these. My two legs are in orange. Okay, my two legs are in orange. My hypotenuse is in yellow. Now, so remember, this is review of 45, 45, 90s. So, uh, x, x, and x squared to two. That's my master ratio. So I have all the answers right there. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. If you need to, pause the screen. Okay, and then check those. If you don't know how to get them, email me. Email me. Notice how number 10, 5 squared of 8. 5 squared of 8 right there. I can uh, I can break that down because 8 breaks down to 4 and 2, right? So that's what my work is right there. 4 squared of 2, squared of, squared of 4. So then if squared of 4 is 2, 5 times 2 is 10. I'll get 10 squared of 2 which is why I got the two answers in orange. All right, and then I multiplied the orange to get the yellow on all of these. Okay, so here's a little recap if you need to. You know, all of these problems, 2 through 12, before I move up, I multiplied the orange if I had the orange to get the yellow. So I multiplied the orange by square root of 2 to get the yellow. If I was given the yellow, I divided by square root of 2. So to go from yellow to orange, I divide it because hypotenuse to a leg is a, long, is a longer to a shorter side. Okay, so that should make sense. Okay, so there's the answers. Here's the last four of 14, 16, 18, and 20. Pause the screen if you want more time and check those answers. And again, please ask me if you miss any of them. Okay, that's good. So 
Let's move on. We are doing 30, 60, 90s now. Okay? So I emailed you these documents just like always. It seems like what I'm doing is working, so I'm going to keep doing that. This is very similar. Right, now, if you notice, there's a right there is 45, 45, 90s, right? With the x, x, x squared to 2 ratio. Now we're doing 30, 60, 90s, right? It's a little bit more complicated. It's x, x squared root of 3, so x, x squared root of 3, and 2x, all right? But the concept is really almost the same, all right? So you have a set ratio of the side opposite 30, the side opposite 60, the side opposite 90. And we're going to go through four examples, so don't worry. Um, so, but, but that's the ratio. It's just locked in. And like I said, this is extremely important once you get to, um, I believe, more so pre-calculus, okay, for those of you that are planning on taking that route. Okay, so you'll notice I drew my arrow, so the side opposite 30 goes with x. The side opposite 60 goes with x square root of 3. And the side opposite 90 goes with 2x. That's why I drew the arrows. Okay, so let's... Um, I have these problems already uh, on the board, so let's go to the let's go to the classroom board. Let's take a stroll. What jersey is it today, my boy Dennis Rodman? Yeah, yeah, the Worm is his nickname. If you didn't know that. All right, thanks for the useless knowledge, Mr. G. Okay, so if you notice, if you need to look at those notes, right? I'll go grab those again. All right, so we're using this ratio every single time. Now read this paper. All right, so it says the hypotenuse is the length. The length is twice the length of the shorter leg. The length of the short leg is half the length of the hypotenuse then. And the long leg is the product, which means multiply, the short leg by square root of 3. Okay, read through this. All right. Just as a hint, the short leg, which is the side opposite 30, is always the easiest thing to do. I promise, no matter what. All right, trust me, I've taught geometry for eight years. All right, so uh, then I've also found instead of writing it horizontally, I think vertically works a little bit better. Okay, so I just took all this and copied it on this board. You have the same thing right there in front of you, or you should. Or you should on your computer. I don't know. As long if you printed it off, it'd probably be a little bit more efficient for you and easier to follow along. So let's do example one. We'll do all four of these. Okay. Uh, right. So notice how I boxed my ratio. Green, 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 green. Those are locked in every single time. So the side opposite 30 goes with the X. Side opposite 30 goes with the x. So, I don't have 30 on this one. No big deal. Let's put it because how many degrees are in a triangle? Yes, we know. 180, Mr. G. You don't need to tell me again. All right, so here's what you have to do to do this. If you have this triangle, a 30, 60, 90, all of these are 30, 60, 90s. 30, 60, 90s. 30, 60, 90s. Okay? All four examples. You, what you need to do first is make sure you correctly put that side length where it needs to go. Okay, so 10 is opposite what angle? 90. So I'm going to put 10 over here. Now that has nothing to do with those right there. It just That's just the location of where it's going. So now, like I said, on your notes, right here, it's easiest to do the short leg first. Because if the long leg, if the hypotenuse is 10, which it is, and it's in the 2x spot, what do you do to 2x to get to x? You divide it by 2. right? Because virtually this is 2x equals 10. Then what do you have to do to both sides? Divide by 2. 
So x equals 5. Right? So this, here's your x spot, that's going to be 5. And now that you have that, it makes this side, which is the most complicated, so much easier. Okay, so if x is 5, then you just multiply the short leg by square root of 3 to get the longer leg. So this is just simply 5 square root of 3. And those are my answers. And if you want to put those in the picture, you can. All right, so the side opposite 30 is 5. The side opposite 60, 60, boom, boom, is 5 square root of 3. And that's our answer. Okay? And if you want, if you don't believe me, you can convert that to a decimal. Do Pythagorean theorem. And say, hey, this squared plus this squared equals this squared. And it's going to work. Okay? Oh, I just smudged myself. Mr. G. All right. So there's example one. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, email me. Example two. Let's see what we got here. We've got the same exact thing. My blue, blue and my green is the same every single time, right? So let me move this a little bit closer. This is my side opposite 90, so I'm putting 26 square root of 2 over there. All right, just like before, if I'm trying to find these two missing sides, and I can put an A and a B there if I really wanted to, or an X and a Y, or any variable you want, we know that, it doesn't really matter, okay? I'm just going to leave them blank for now. So again, find the short leg first by just dividing it by 2, because to go from 2X to X, I just divide by 2, because 2X divided by 2 cancels and I got x by itself right so that's why we're dividing by 2 so let's go ahead and do that with 26 square root of 2 so 26 square root of 2 divided by 2 that's not a radical so I can just reduce it what's 26 divided by 2 this 2 not that 2 I don't care about that one 26 over 2 is 13 so this equals 13 square root of 2 so that right here represents my x. So this right here is 13 square root of 2. Okay? So now, now that we have the short leg, because like I said, that's like the MVP, the most important one, once I get the short leg, now I can uh, figure out what do you need to do to x to get x square root of 3. You have to multiply x by square root of 3. So we have some more work. So take that x, which is 13 square root of 2, and multiply it by square root of 3. And that is on these notes also right here, guys. We're trying to find the long leg. We're trying to find the long leg. Always refer back to your notes. So 13 square root of 2 times square root of 3. That's going to equal 13 square root of 6. And can I break that down? Can I break down 6 and simplify my radical? Nope. So that's my answer. So 13 square root of 6 is my side opposite 60. So boom, 13 square root of 6. Side opposite 30, we already found was 13 square root of 2. And those are my answers. Okay, so that's example two. Moving on to example three. <coughs> Excuse me. So what side do we have? That's 17 square root of two. That is across from what angle? 17 square root of two is across from 30. Okay, so I'm going to put that over here. 17 square root of 2. Right? Just because there's a radical and that one does not mean that's the only answer with the radical. And hopefully that made sense here. All three of these have radicals in their answers on example 2. Okay, so don't think that that, that has to happen. Okay, so 17 square root of 3. So you have the shortest side, so that's really simple. Or that should 
that's the easiest one to find because now all you need to do to find the side opposite 30, what do you do to x to get x squared to 3? You multiply it by square root of 3. So to find the side opposite 60, I'm going to do 17 square root of 2, which is that one. And I am multiplying it by square root of 3, which equals... And this is why we had to know how to multiply radicals, guys. 17 square root of 6. And that's all I got to do. 17 square root of 6. So that's the side opposite 30. So now we have some more work over here. So, you all, so I'm going to always use x, right? Because what do you do to x? The side opposite 30 to get to 2x. You have to multiply it by 2. So I'm going to take 17 square root of 2 times 2. Now that's not inside the square root sign, but we know that we multiply those two. So 17 times that 2 is 34. So 34 square root of 2 is my side length of this one. Okay, so my hypotenuse is right here, 34 square root of 2. And my side opposite 30, we already found, was 17 square root of 6. Okay, hopefully that's making sense. All right, let's do one more example. One more example. It's 30. All right. So, what are we given, Mr. G? We are given the 3 on example 4. 3 is opposite what side? It's opposite of the 60 degrees. So I'm going to put it in this slot. All right? Again, that ratio is your master ratio. It never changes. All right? So that's 3 because that's 3. I just dra drag it over there. Okay, so that's the first step. So now, ooh, what do we do, Mr. G? How do I go from the side opposite the 60 degree angle because it's always easiest to find the short leg first, right? All right? So what do you do to x square root of 3 to get x by itself? You divide by square root of 3. Because if I do 5x square root of 3 and I decide to divide it by square root of 3, what happens? Those cancel and I get x by itself. Okay, so that's why, that's why we're dividing by square root of 3 now. Because I want x by itself. Because x is by itself there. So let's take this and divide it by square root of 3. So 3 divided by square root of 3. Boom, red flag. I can't have a radical on bottom. So now we're doing our dividing radicals work that we did a couple class periods ago. All right, and this ends up equaling, multiply straight across, 3 square root of 3 over, what square root of 3 times square root of 3? Square root of 9. Square root of 9 is 3. So now what can I do with these two? I got to simplify because I took care of the radical, but now 3 divided by 3 is 1, so those cancel. So this just equals square root of 3. Okay, so what did we do this for? Why do we divide by square root of 3? To go from here to here, because if I divide by square root of 3, those cancel. I got x by itself. So this answer goes right here. Okay? So the side opposite 30 is square root of 3. So now I have my MVP, that's the shortest leg, to go from the shortest leg to my longest leg, you double it. Again, if you ever get confused, go to the notes. I tell you what you need to do. Okay? Read those notes. So I gotta take x Multiply it by 2. All right, so my x is represented by square root of 3. So let me erase this. So we don't need that work anymore. Square root of 3 times 2. Uh, now, both one of them is inside, the other one's outside. So I'm just going to rewrite that with the 2 in front as 2 square root of 3. All right, that's kind of like, like this looks silly. That's like saying x times 2 whenever that's the same thing as just 2x. Okay, you, you always put the radical second, just like you always put the variable second. All right, but I just doubled this to get 2 squared of 3. 
So if I fill out my picture, that's where that goes. Q squared of 3. So there's our examples, guys. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, again, if it, if it doesn't, we might need to do a one-on-one. -on -one, that's okay. Or just re-watch this. I'll try to find another video uh, from somebody else that maybe can do a better job than Mr. G. But I don't know if we can find somebody that can do a better job than Mr. G. All right. So part one of your homework. Evens, 2 through 14 on this paper. That's seven problems. I have them circled. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. All right? Those problems. Part two is to do these six combined problems. All right? Now, some of them are a little challenging. Don't worry. That's okay. Um, that's, uh, but I will go over them next class, All right? But let's go through, let's go through the first one. You just have to draw your own picture. Actually, right, so let's just go, I'll help you get started with number six, actually. Hopefully I don't need that anymore. <laughs> Actually, number one and two, you just got to draw your own picture. There are 45, 45, 90s on there, guys. So you'll have to go back to those. This is like a review paper combined with both of them. But um, uh, how about this? We'll, uh, for number three, it says find the area of the triangle below. Okay, so for number three, you need to find the area. What's the area of a triangle? It's one half base times height. So you got to find the base. And the height, right? And this is a 45, 45, 90, right? Because remember, it's a it's a right isosceles triangle. Okay, so that's 45, 45, 90 rules. Here is a the perimeter of a square. So you got to find all these. Again, this is a 45, 45, 90. Number five is a it, it does both. Okay, so these are you got to find the length of x. It says X and Y. I meant uh, I meant W and Y. All right, sorry, I had a typo. Same thing with number six. Find the length of W and Y. Okay, so typo, typo, typo. I'm sorry. Okay, this one, just try to think outside the box. I, I actually decide I'm not going to do any of these with you because I want to see what you can do on your own. Okay? But the highest priority, make sure you know these. Then do your best on these, but I do want all of them completed. All right, and this is all ownership on your end. All right. So I think that's all she wrote, guys. That's class. That's 30, 60, 90s. All right, so as a, as a reminder, here's your homework. All right, that's your homework. And remember, you have a 20-point quiz next class. And then we'll get started on trig. And one final reminder, email me, email me, email me, email me. Tell me specific problems. If you say, hey, Mr. G, I don't know how to do number six on the homework from 30, 60, 90s. I'll do it on here, and I'll take a picture and send it to you. All right? Ownership, academic ownership. All right, otherwise, guys, that's all I got. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully this continues to work. If not, give me some feedback. Give me something else that might help you, but I'm doing the best that I can. I miss you. I love you. God bless.